Okay, so now we have mass, linear momentum, angular momentum. What's left? Energy. So in words, you know, the, the conservation of energy is that, you know, the time rate of change of energy in a body, right, is equal to the mechanical work, mechanical work plus heat generated plus um, heat con conduction plus radiation. So now we just have to write down what those terms are, right? Well, so the, the, internal, the, in the internal energy or the, the time rate of change of energy in the body is equal to the kinetic plus the internal energy, right? So the kinetic energy is one half dm V dot V, which is equal to one half rho V dot V dV, right? The internal energy, we're just going to give, give it, the internal energy here is just going to be U. We're not going to specify necessarily where it comes from. It could be mechanical work stored, like strain energy or something, but you know, we're, in this case, we won't be that, we'll leave it more general, such that we just have you know, some internal energy times dm, which is rho dv, right? And so, that, so that, the, the sum of these two is the work, and the time rate of change of that is the power, right, in the body. And so, that's ddt, sum, which is the work, one half rho v dot v plus rho u dv, which is equal to, through the Reynolds transport theorem, Okay, and so the mechanical work, the mechanical work, so this is the left-hand side, or power rather, you know, power, mechanical power comes from the same two sources. I didn't redraw our thing, but it's the same, right? It comes from body, body forces and surface tractions, okay? And so, um, from body forces, we have rho B, V, DV, So surface forces we have rho, I'm sorry, not rho, just T V D S using Cauchy equation, it's a uh, sigma J I N J V I ds, and then using the divergence theorem is xj sigma j i v i dv. Right. I'm going to manipulate this a little further. If we uh, use the product rule here, we'll have sigma j i J V I plus 
sigma j i partial v i partial x j d v. If you remember, this is the, called the velocity gradient, L i j. All right, so that's our mechanical work. Then we have heat conduction. And just by convention, we're going to say that it's, you know, the heat conduction vector is outward pointing so that that's defined as negative. Ds. Using divergence theorem here, to convert to a volume integral. And finally, radiation term. This is generally not important unless you do nuclear power. It would be something like this. So where this is R is the heat generated per unit mass. OK? So we're almost done. Put it all together. And again, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to rewrite it. And you get, just going to move some terms around. this, what's this guy? It's the equilibrium equation, conservation of momentum, right? So that's equal to zero. So, if, and then, you know, for arbitrary uh, dv, then you'd have rho du dt is equal to sigma transpose L minus divergence of Q plus rho R. And then just one last, you know, L, if you remember, we, we can decompose L into a symmetric part plus a skew symmetric part. And so if you're taking this, this inner product uh, and if sigma is symmetric, then, you know, by definition, this is symmetric and this is skew symmetric or anti-symmetric. So therefore, sigma inner product W is equal to zero. Any any symmetric tensor inner product and an anti-symmetric tensor is zero. So that just leaves D, right? So the final form will be D D U D T since sigma is symmetric. Right. So energy. And so just to summarize, and this is the last thing we'll do today, energy linear momentum angular momentum
And then we had multiple ways to write mass, right? There's our conservation equations. And later on in the course, when we, when we uh, compute solutions, these are the equations we're going to solve. Now, I'll say right now, we won't do anything with energy. Um, although, you know, it's just, it's just more code. It's not any more difficult. It just, and then, you know, we're going to use simplified. We're going to simplify uh, momentum and, and mass a little bit to make it a little bit easier. But when you when you solve you know when you use a commercial code that's fully coupled with multiphysics, like say Comsol, that's what it's solving. All of those equations. Last one. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right. Any questions?